Good afternoon dear friends and followers Welcome to a new video here on my channel and this time in English from the paradise probably noticed that I'm currently on Zanzibar, Tanzania, Africa. So I'm on a two weeks vacation here. If you are considering to go to Zanzibar this year or the next years, then this is the right video for you. If you are new on this channel, then consider liking and subscribing. And of course, activate the bell so the next time I upload a new video, you will get a notification. And now let's get started. So, the first thing you have to clarify first is what do you want to do on Zanzibar? Do you want to explore the cities? Do you want to have party? Or do you want to go surfing? For better understanding, I divided Zanzibar in three parts. So the northern part with Nungwi, the eastern part with Paje, and the western part including Stone Town. Let's start directly with the northern part where we are staying actually, in Nungwi. So Nungwi is a small town directly on the northern tip of Zanzibar. Here are a lot of restaurants, a lot of hotels and a lot of things to do. In the evenings you can enjoy a beautiful dinner or a drink directly at the beach. You can walk on the beach and meet some cows you can have a wonderful sunset cruise in the evening and as well you can have a nice trip to Member Island. is not only the most beautiful beach and the private island of Bill Gates but actually the, nobody knows but if you look at the details when Tanzania wanted to sell the island Bill Gates was the first one who landed at the island so it's not official but everybody knows that this island is owned by Bill Gates it's not only the private island of Bill Gates, you can enjoy a full day snorkeling trip and a sandbank visit next to the island with less than $120. Nungwe is not that affected by the tides as Paje, so you always have the blue ocean directly in front of you in just meters of walking. As well, you can have a day trip to Pemba Island, which is located in the north of Zanzibar. It belongs to Zanzibar, but it's a separated island. It's very nice for snorkeling and diving. In the east, you have the Kiwengwa beach, you have the Josani forest, you have Mishamwi with the rock restaurant and you have Paja and Jambiani. So in the Josani forest you can spot a lot of different species that are actually living on Zanzibar. Maybe if when you go to the Josani forest, you will be lucky and will spot the Zanzibarian elephant. Huh? It looks like a big rat with a very long nose. But anyway, we didn't see him. Maybe you will have better luck. The winds have much higher speed in Paja or Jambiani. So it's the perfect weather for surfing, kite surfing. Of course you have good spots in the western part as well, with Toe Stone Town. You can enjoy the most beautiful old town ever with all the interesting markets 
and this unbelievable history of Tanzania and Zanzibar. And of course, don't forget a visit at the night market and you will find a famous cliff where all the kids are jumping from on TikTok. From Stone Town and from the other cities you can have a Chengdu Island tour which was the old prison and quarantine island of Zanzibar. The famous Nakupenga Island is also located next to Stone Town. Considering to do the Kupenga tour, the Chango tour, or the Stone Town tour, uh, there is a WhatsApp number of Rosie in the description down below. She will help you, she will guide you through all these destinations with a very good guide. We learned so much about the history of Zanzibar and the history of Stone Town. Just text her on WhatsApp, she will reply to you shortly and she will make you a good price. In the west is also the Kendra Rock Resort. It's a five-star hotel located directly at the beach and they have the most famous full moon party here on Zanzibar. I recommend you to come in the middle of the month so you can enjoy the party as well. It costs uh, 25,000 uh, Tanzanian shilling to get in and you have to buy a prepaid card, uh, 120,000 or 500,000 shilling and you can enjoy with this credit all the drinks they have. If you want to enjoy the seafood barbecue, then I recommend to come you at around 8 o'clock. If you are just coming for the party, then come at 10 p.m. That should be all right, then the party is about to start. How to move around Zanzibar? There are actually two main ways I would recommend you is, the first one is renting a scooter for $20 a day, or by a taxi, but keep in mind that the taxis are like more expensive. For a 40 kilometers drive, there and back you pay up to $80. But if you are staying in Nongui, I will put Sulis' uh, WhatsApp number in the description. He was our taxi driver here in Nongui. He was always on time, he was even always 10 minutes uh, earlier here. He was driving safe he was driving smooth no problems at all just contact him on whatsapp and he will make you a good price when you mention my name so what about the money so yeah currently one euro is 2400 tanzanian shilling yes if you already read it, it's true. The ATMs are really rare here on Zanzibar or they are not working due to the power shortage always here on the island. But if you find one, withdraw already more money. I would recommend you like 800,000 uh, shilling because you will spend around 60 to 80,000 shilling per day minimum. So a uh, normal local beer costs around 10,000 shilling and a normal main course around 25,000 shilling. And when talking about uh, the money and how to withdraw the money, we have to speak also about the locations where we have to spend the money. And these are the restaurants here on Zanzibar. First thing first, my impression was that every restaurant is cooking his food fresh i like it i really enjoyed it but still there are some favorites and they are like 
restaurants I would recommend you. So let's start with the Istanbul restaurant. It's a very nice a Turkish restaurant located on the western part of Nungui. There's a waiter. So his name is Daniel too. So if you mention my name, he will be really friendly and all good. I would recommend you to go to the Istanbul restaurant by sunset so you can enjoy your drinks and your dinner with a beautiful view at the ocean. The prices are also not too high and not too low, so all good. If you want to have a little bit of exclusive food, then you go to the Yeti restaurant. It's located on the eastern part of Nungui. But anyway, it's on a pier. If you have a nice date with your girlfriend or with your friend, then go on the pier, have a nice dinner, but take in consideration that it's more expensive. So you will spend around 200,000 shilling or 90 euro for two people. My favorite restaurant was also the M&J Coffee, directly at the city center of Nungui. They are always preparing fresh smoothies, juices and everything. A juice costs 5,000 and a smoothie 8,000 shilling. If you want to have a small snack in Nungui, then I will recommend you the Apex restaurant directly on the other side of the M&G coffee. As well, there is a restaurant for our vegetarians and vegans. So the Heart and Souls Cafe directly located on the Nungui road at the entry of Nungui. They are serving from 8 o'clock in the morning till 10 p.m. very fresh vegetarian or vegan food. If you are going to Paje, then I would definitely recommend you the Oxygen restaurant directly at the beach with a bar and club downstairs. The restaurant is upstairs. If you are going there to in sunset, you will enjoy your really nice seafood platter at the beach with a beautiful view on the sunset and on the beautiful Indian Ocean. So as well talking about Zanzibar you want to go to the beach but what is the best beach? In my opinion the best beach is the sandbank directly in front of Mamba Island but you have to go there early in the morning when it's low tide so you actually have a sandbank but anyway all the other beaches are beautiful as well my blue beach my royal beach nungui beach the public beach in kenwa the kiwengwa beach the paje or the jambiani beach are also very nice every beach have something different like in like in paje you have a lot of palm trees and in Kiwengwa you have a really white beach but pay attention on each beach where there are cliffs there are also sea urchins and, and small crabs I would not recommend you to step on a sea urchin that they are not dangerous here but still pay attention so in the end there is a big question is Zanzibar safe? and i would say yes like small streets in in the cities or in the villages are sometimes really strange but i would say they are actually safe i wouldn't recommend a girl like walking alone through all these small cities but together there is absolutely no problem the other problem is the police. If you are renting a scooter and you are going from the north to the south or moving around with the scooter, you will face a problem with the police because they see you, you are not Zanzibarian, so they will try to get your money. So um, I would recommend to take two wallets and one wallet you will put all your money and you have a second wallet with your passport, your driving license, your driving permit and a little bit of spare money. Like I'm talking about 10,000 shilling in like smaller bills, like 5,000, 2,000. So if they ask you for money, you can say I don't have more and you just give them 5,000, which is like two euro. 
So anyway, you can start arguing with the police. The police stopped us twice because of speeding. So we went 50 outside of the village and they said we were driving 65, which is of course too high. So we started arguing with the police and in the end they let us go. But not all the police is like this. Most of the police will just stop you, will check your driving license and your driving permit for Zanzibar, which costs, by the way, $10 and will let you go. So everything is safe, everything is fine. How to enter Zanzibar? If you are coming by airplane, you can easily arrive at the Zanzibar International Airport. First, they will check you if you are vaccinated or not. If you are not vaccinated, then there is no problem. You will just have to do a PCR test uh, 72 hours before departure and all good. Then you have to register online. You have to pay the visa online and of course apply for the visa online. I will put the uh, link in the description where you have to register before and then you just fill in the small form. You will give it to the border police and they will let you through. This is actually my last day here on Zanzibar and that's why this is the end of the video. I'm saying goodbye to you. If you have further questions, then just put it in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, consider liking and subscribing, of course, and activate the bell to not miss any other videos. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you in another video. Bye-bye.